seem to have that in the 3-0 loss to Chivas. Not a lot uh, to build on from that game. So they're hoping to reclaim some of that. And they've got to live up to it in midfield tonight against what may be the best four set in the entire Major League Soccer. Injury report, Kalen Carr came over in the trade for Dominic Oduro. Still has not seen the field, the concussion. Danny Cruz went down injured. He would have been starting tonight. Went down injured. Moffitt will replace him in the middle. And that will push uh, Brad Davis back out wide along with Colin Clark. Dynamo in orange. Seattle in the dark green here tonight. Seattle's last game beat Colorado 4-3. This week they played in Panama against San Francisco in the CONCACAF Champions League, a 1-0 loss. So they've been on the road for about a week uh, living out of their suitcases. Critical game for Houston, though, that at this point is looking to grab some momentum. Uh, it was deflating for fans again because Dynamo thought they had a deal done with Oscar Boniac Garcia, the uh, entertaining wide player for Honduras and who also plays for Olympia in Honduras. They thought it was done, and all of a sudden the... The Olympia officials uh, pulled the deal off the table. So uh, Houston still seeking out two quality changes that they uh, intend to make uh, in the transfer window. I'd like to thank Green Star Recycling and all of our Major League Soccer sponsors for allowing us to bring you tonight's game without interruption in the 90s here in Houston. Surface looks good, though. Hunter Freeman, Boswell. Two players that are under the microscope tonight. With Moffat in the holding midfield role, it will allow, and let's go back to that in a minute because there's Will Broom. And boy, a little bit better touch than he may have been in. Cleared away by former Dynamo Patrick Iani. First corner of the game goes to Houston. Brad Davis will go to take it. I was about to say, Jeff Cameron will have a more extended role tonight out of midfield with Moffitt uh, sitting in front of the back four for Houston. Here's Davis off the corner thanks to Kane Joe U 11.2. Freeman in front of Casey Keller. Lots of targets in there. Cameron went down. Referee tonight, Nico Bratzis. Only his seventh MLS game. Davis swings it towards the near post. Headed up and away by Ianni. Boswell, who is back in the lineup. Riley. And here is Freeberg, the Swede, to Montero. Seattle quick throw, and it's to Roger Levekin. It's put Levekin in a one-on-one -on -one position, and wide open is Fernandez. He blows it over the top. Oh, Houston got caught. Completely drawn to one side of the field off the throw in. Levec picked out Fernandez, the Uruguayan, and he blows a beautiful road chance. Houston is overcommitted on this side of the field, and there is just acres of space. Fernandez may have rushed that. The Dynamo have dodged a bullet here inside three minutes. Oh, what a road chance set up by Roger Levec. All of that came off the quick throw from Freddie Montero. Sounders lead the series 2-1-2, and two, but they've never won in Houston. In fact, neither team in this series has won on the road. Tyson Wall now is back in the lineup as a left back tonight. Leo Gonzalez, the Costa Rican, played there against San Francisco of Panama. Valley Hall got underneath this one. It'll go over the halfway line. Teams met earlier in the year, 1-1 draw in Seattle. It was a night where Tally Hall was absolutely spectacular. Here's Adam Moffat, the new signing for Houston. Bad giveaway. Fernandez had tucked in and he's won it. Levesque. Rosales. And you're seeing a good look at uh, 
the capability and qualities of a midfield that really has it all for Seattle. Freeberg, Montero. Corey Ash, fresh off a trip to New Jersey to play in the All-Star game, and here's Tally Hall driving it towards Brian Ching now. Bruno's running off him. Won powerfully by Jeff Park, who has been outstanding for Seattle. Colin Clark now, back in the lineup for Houston. Boswell pressed by Alvaro Fernandez. Manchester United uh, leading Barcelona 1-0 in Landover, Maryland. Nani, the goal scorer for United. That is in the World Football Challenge. Ching now. Good distribution out wide. He picked out Colin Clark. Chance maybe to go with Tyson Wall. He's got an overlapping run from Freeman. Clark shot, took a deflection, and almost gratuitously bounced to Ching. James Riley, former New England Revolution player. Moffitt with a good win of the ball against Mauro Rosales. Ash now. Ching tried to help it on. Cameron, who's really pushing high early in this one. Tackled away by Jeff Park. Bruin, Cameron gets it over. Ching's in the box. Chance to make it one. Keller got a hand on it. It's driven in by Colin Clark. And Houston, in the seventh minute, have stunned Seattle Sounders FC and have taken the lead. Third of the year for Clark. This is just looped in. Seattle can't get it cleared, and it's just pure power that will determine this ball crossing the great divide here. Goes off the hand of Keller. He's almost in self-defense from about four or five yards away. Tyson Wall couldn't get it cleared, and it dropped beautifully to Clark. Third of the year for Clark, and a great start here to this one for the Dynamo. Well, and credit the fact that Jeff Cameron pushing forward in this one. Boswell. He get called for the foul, and a beautiful flare has just uh, come down on the field. Boswell got Montero. And uh, smoke bomb making its way on the field. It was a beautiful orange haze now over Robertson Stadium. Fans, when you're in Houston, stay at the Hyatt Regency Houston, the official hotel of the Houston Dynamo. Broom called for the foul. It's a rare moment for the Dynamo because the play with the comfort of a one-goal lead is not something that they've been able to do for a lot of this season here in 2011. Well, let's think a little bit about Seattle. They had an exhibition game against Manchester United. They were down 1-0 at halftime, and then they changed out literally their whole team and ended up losing 7-0. They just lost down in Panama. So despite the fact that they're nine in a row in MLS, they've had some challenges in some other matches as of late. Took some days off of training. Clark now, who's uh, really buzzing after getting the game's first goal. Tyson Wall for Seattle. Tight confines, the heat, always a challenge here in Houston for any incoming team. Michael Owen has scored. Two to one Manchester United. So uh, goals are raining in Land Landover. Thiago getting the goal for Barcelona. Who are the reigning Champions League champions. They will come to Texas and make a stop up in Dallas to play Club America a week from today. Defensive work there from Hunter Freeman. So 
So let's see if this goal will give the Dynamo a real boost of confidence against one of MLS's best teams, the Seattle Sounders, who third in the West at 10 4 and 8. Playoffs ended today. The Dynamo would not make them. They're on the fringe of the final playoff spot. Seattle obviously would. Hey fans, show your ticket back at area Kalachi factories. Get three additional Kalachis when you buy three Kalachi factories. History of great taste. Moffitt is a hitter and a tackler in midfield. And Alvaro Fernandez saying, yeah, that's smart. Uruguayan has been a great pickup for Seattle Sounders FC. Fernandez has five goals on the year. In 18 appearance, 14 of those starts. Here's Montero. Will he try it from this range? He absolutely will. It's blocked by the wall. Riley, Moro Rosales now. Good play in tight space. They bring in the right back now. Cleared away by Will Bruin. So Seattle will get the corner now. Jeff Park will come forward. So will Iani who in his career after getting traded has scored against the Dynamo. The dogged defender Tyson Wall to take this corner. It's really emerged for Seattle. In towards the six headed out firmly by Boswell. Freeberg took a shot it was blocked by Moffitt. Levesque now. Quick throw. Freebird. And it'll be another corner for Seattle. There's the Swede, Eric Freebird. Another good pickup for them. International midfield for Seattle. A goal and two assists on the year for Freebird. The Argentine Moro Rosales to take the corner. In it comes. The header. And out of play it goes. It'll be another corner, a third consecutive corner now for Seattle. Tyson Wall takes him on this side of the field. Ianni and Park are two of the targets. Seattle missing Brad Evans, John Kennedy Hurtado. They did not make the trip. And of course have absorbed the loss of Steve Zakawani. Wall again. In it comes. Roger Levesque now. Rosales gave it away. Bad ball. Unforced error. Houston need to get some players in advance of the ball and Cameron will just knock it long. It's James Riley now. Big switch to Riley. To Jeff Park. How important has he become? Spent five seasons in New York. Boy, Montero did not play the ball. Played Andre Haino. Who went down spectacularly. Here's the challenge between Montero. Interesting figure. He's a designated player now, the young Colombian. Time seems disinterested in games, which to an effect is part of a weapon of his. Right now, Ziggy Schmidt, the biggest thing holding him back, he says, is him himself. Youth programs. For more information on Dynamo Youth Academy, they're presented by Stato. I'll go to HoustonDynamo.com. Still trying to find a personality. Dangerous play back here. Hey, no, back to Hall is just going to drive it out of danger. So nervous and shaky moments at the back for Houston. 14 minutes in, despite the fact they have a 1-0 lead. Montero again in and around the action. Six goals, five assists on the year for Freddie Montero. He's got three goals in his last two. MLS matches.
Treat for Houston fans to see Casey Keller as you look at Ziggy Schmidt. 12th season, won titles at Los Angeles and Columbus. He's basically done it all in American soccer. The only thing he has not done is coach the U.S. national team. And you'd have to think he would be the leading candidate for an American-based coach. And as we all know, Bob Bradley uh, has been relieved of his duties. Jurgen Klinsmann will take over the position as U.S. national team coach. Ching, second ball now is Clark, the game's goal scorer. Hunter Freeman. All the way back now to Tally Hall. 16 minutes in. Dynamo 5, 7, and 9, fifth in the Eastern Conference, 5, 3, and 3 at home. And have been very direct so far like that. Uh, both teams bypassing midfield. Dominic Kinnear, 1, 2, and 2 lifetime against Seattle. Has won 93 games in MLS as a coach, a part of four MLS Cup wins. Two as an assistant in San Jose, and two as a head coach here in Houston. So there's some real pressure, Dominic Kinnear. Not only in that he's trying to get this team uh, pushed towards the playoffs, but also is trying to uh, upgrade their roster. There's some significant signings here in the transfer window. Told me this week he's spending a lot of time, energy and effort, into uh, trying to secure two new players for this team. Freeberg. Here's a sweet, nice ball. Rosales. He gets turned quickly. Seattle wants to establish this uh, their ga game on the floor here. Freeburg curls it in. Tally Hall will pick that off. He played against Manchester United in the MLS All-Star game. That's to be one of the highlights of his career. And we will show you the MLS All-Star game against Manchester United highlights at halftime. So stay with us on KHOU 11-2 and Fox Sports Houston Plus. Here's Ash now down the left side. Ash against Riley. Do we take him on? Get some space, good ball to the back post and went over the head of Bruin. But a good moment for Corey Ash uh, on his first foray forward from the left back position. Houston now beginning to uh, gain a little bit more territorial pressure, broken up by Alonzo. Long throw from Freeman towards Cameron. He helped it on. Ching trying to get position. Fernandez is going to whack it towards the halfway line. Ash now. Seattle looking a bit lethargic here. Like a team that's been on the road for a week. Ashby two. Moffitt came over from Portland. In the recent trade, Level Palmer, Mike Chabala going to the Portland Timbers. And Will Bruin is down. He has played significant minutes this year. Tonight, his 21st appearance. He shattered the rookie record for appearances in minutes. And he looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. Got his leg caught underneath himself there. Jason Gary warming up for the Dynamo, so is Cam Weaver. It's 
go back to the first good chance of the game and the Dynamo would get caught here. Freddie Montero now watch what's going to happen here. He's going to earn the throw. He's going to quickly pick the ball. Up. Houston relaxes and off the throw. He puts in Roger Levesque. Now the whole team was pulled to one side of the field. And then Freddie Montero found the trailing run over the top from Fernandez. Dynamo bench tonight. Gary and Weaver, the real attacking options. Mentioned uh, Danny, Danny Cruz a scratch after getting injured yesterday. We would have expected him to be in the starting lineup tonight. He gave the start to Moffitt. And uh, put Colin Clark and Brad Davis out wide. So Cameron's in more of an attacking midfield role here tonight. 21 minutes in, Dynamo 1 0 lead over Seattle. Pretty direct as of late. Let's see if they can establish a, a passing game and some possession tonight. Boswell tries to knock it long. It's knocked away by Freddie Montero. Good look at the young Colombian. If you're just joining us here, let's go back to the game's lone goal. Seven minutes in. Throw in from Cameron. He will loop this into the box. Ching will get there. Seattle can't get it cleared. And it's just powered in by Colin Clark. Clark picking up his third goal of the year. Miani goes up. Miani knows uh, the tendencies of Brian Ching. Rosales tucked in, tried to get past Bobby Boswell. Boswell with a big tackle. So Will Bruin is staying on right now. Cameron gets it switched. Good ball to Davis. He's isolated here against Riley. Davis back and Riley in. Take over with Cameron. Cameron swings it into the box. Chick is there! What a goal from Houston! Out of the theater of the imagination. Jeff Cameron with the delivery. Brian Ching with the finish. Crossing and finishing at its best. If you feed the man, he will deliver. Here's the takeover with Cameron. Lack of pressure on Cameron now, and he whips it in. That is a beautifully placed ball. It's in the pocket around the six. It's exactly where Ching wants it. He gets in between Iani and Jeff Park, and he pounds in the header. It is 2-0 Houston. 23 minutes in. One of the best goals the Dynamo have constructed and put together this year. James Riley now. Let's not forget Seattle scored four goals in their last MLS game. So they are uh, far from out of this. But there is now a real circle that has to be put around the game's next goal. July 16th Seattle four to three over Colorado. Rosales stands over this. So does Alonzo. Rosales clips it in. Montero. Alonzo's shot is blocked. Moffitt. Looking for support. James Riley closing him down. Offside flag is up on Will Broom. Let's go back to the goal. Here's the takeover. Davis, uh, good communication here with Cameron. And Boy, now that's the kind of ball Brian Ching wants. One that uh, the pace is in the delivery. 
Boy, that's just picture perfect. You, you love the shape and the form of Ching rising and just snapping the header. Uh, and that's a blurry orb past Casey Keller. Spectacular goal, and a lot of that comes down to the delivery. Visit Little Caesars, get the $5 hot and ready pizza, available all day, every day, and voted the best value in America. Here's Ching. Speaking of value. He'll get it wide. He's made it clear he wants to play another season. Wants to get into that new stadium, and if he keeps scoring goals like that, he will. Here's Corey Ash. Blocked by Riley. Rosales. Montero. And this is where Alonzo's game has come to another level. The ability to change the point of the attack, and he does it to Fernandez. Tyson Wall now. Quebec is in the box. Cross is blocked. Seattle is definitely dragging in this one. They look as though they've, uh, they're a little road weary here so far in this one. And boy, that early goal that Alvaro Fernandez missed could have been a real confidence boost for them. Here's Fernandez into the box. Tally Hall will pick it off. Hey, to win an all-expenses-paid trip to MLS Cup 2011 in Los Angeles this, this November, simply text WFC112-22442. Don't miss this opportunity to see the MLS Cup champion crowned and text right away. Parkside puts it out. Fernandez. And his Uruguayan teammates. Winning the Copa America over Paraguay. Also had a historic win over Argentina. Rosales, the Argentine, peels off. He's pulled Andre Haino out of the middle. He earns a corner. Again, 27 minutes in. Next goal in this game, significant. Rosales. Wearing that number 10, formerly worn by Freddie Lundberg in Seattle, to take the corner. Clips it in. Iani was a target. Ching helped it on. Osvaldo Alonso now. Tyson Wall. Freebird scoops it up in the air. Fernandez. Earns a corner. Boswell all over him. Significant now. Fernandez in. Join with Boswell. Clark stepping in there to aid his teammate. Significant for Houston to defend corners here tonight because uh, Seattle has earned a number of them. Rosales. Levesque is in there. James Riley now for the Sounders. All ten field players back behind the ball for Houston right now. Let's see if this team uh, can maturely now control this game. Against Seattle. Boy, two players not even close to being on the same page there. Rosales and Fernandez. Fernandez checks to the ball. Rosales plays a ball that's trying to put him in towards the corner flag. Cameron. Davis. Ash is making the overlapping run and he's. He's done a good job of pulling Riley off of Davis. Now Ash will get it. Ching is in the box. Driven in and low and hard. Nobody got across the near post. Casey Keller scoops it up. DMC Software is a proud supporter of Dynamo Charities, helping the community. Visit HoustonDynamo.com slash Dynamo Charities for more information.
Good turn from Rosales here, trying to play in Levesque. Can't find him. Rosales uh, with uh, an exchange of words with Levesque now, who's an incessant runner up front. He somehow finds ways to create chances for himself. Here's Montero. He's pulled way out. Cam Weaver getting set to come on for Houston for Will Bruin. So uh, that injury is going to force a substitution and a change here for the Dynamo. Riley breaks it up, throwing Houston. 31 minutes in, Dynamo 2 0 lead here in the first half. Seventh minute, Colin Clark. 23rd minute, Brian Ching. This is an ATT call to the bench. ATT, a better 3G experience. So Will Bruin will go off. And Cam Weaver, who's from the Pacific Northwest, will come on. Davis, Dynamo need to get it switched. Cameron does. Good ball from him. Good overlapping run. Clark. Freeman's ball was deflected. Fernandez goes down, clutching his head. It'll be a free kick, Seattle. Fernandez was a member of the fourth place Uruguayan squad at the World Cup. Been on edge tonight, Fernandez. Had some words with Bobby Boswell. He played 30 minutes in Panama against San Francisco in the CONCACAF Champions League on Tuesday. So it sounders like the Dynamo in past years having to balance CONCACAF play and league play. Freeberg. There's nothing out wide, so he goes up the middle of Rosales. He's pulled in. Limited his options because there was no width. Here's Davis. Make that ash. Davis to the left of him. Andre Hano. Boswell, good distribution. He brings that. Clark backing in Tyson Wall wants to get it on his left. Ching top of the box. Can he get turned? Trying to fight his way through. Ching save Keller. Oh, he drove his right foot through it. Keller was equal. Another good hit and held by Casey Keller. Moffitt from long range here. 33 minutes in. And Houston fans appreciating more uplifting soccer here tonight after last weekend. Ching would just. Purely uh, physical his way through there. And then Casey Keller had a bit of a stretch there, handling the shot from Moffitt. Shots on goal, Houston. With the advantage, lazy ball there. We've seen some of them from Seattle. Here's Davis. He goes down. Free kick. Riley doesn't like it. So Seattle clearly does not seem to have the total fight in them that we normally see now from being on the road. Also, uh, emotionally, are really on the fringe. And that generally points back towards fatigue. Montero goes down. Biggie Schmidt a bit perplexed. Cam Weaver picking up a yellow card. The caution is presented by Center Point Energy. Stay safe. Stay 10 feet away from power lines. Center Point Energy. Always there. Again, the Dynamo have uh, the suspended Javon Watson tonight. Picked up a red card against Chivas USA. Front office of Houston. President Chris Kennedy have 
assured fans there's going to be two changes here in the transfer window. Benimo working feverishly to try to find two players that can help with their push towards trying to secure a playoff spot. It's been a tough year. And only 13 games to go. The time is now. We are in week 20 of Major League Soccer. Alonzo has stepped up. Osvaldo Alonzo looking for support. Curls a wonderful ball back to Levesque. Montero goes down to the penalty spot. We go. Seattle with a huge chance to get back into this game. Osvaldo Alonso has been silent tonight. He gets into the box, delivers the ball back. We talked about the next goal in this game, and Seattle will go to the penalty spot. Here is Alonso. Somehow turns this back. Montero will get scissored down. Brad Evans, who uh, normally takes their penalties, is not available. Alvaro Fernandez will take this one. The Uruguayan. Alonso took their last one against Portland and made it. Fernandez to make it two to one. Against Tally Hall, he scores. It's two to one. It's game on here at Robertson. And Seattle has pulled a goal back and maybe a little bit more confidence. Sixth goal of the year for Alvaro Fernandez. It's a good penalty. Tally Hall went to his left, and Fernandez delivers. Three first half goals at Robertson Stadium. Houston will earn a free kick. Of a yellow. So uh, scores a penalty, picks a yellow up, and remains in the thick of it. Alvaro Fernandez, headed away by Riley. Cameron's trying to get there. Moffitt, long range hit from Moffitt. He's quickly going to remind himself that he was a part of the Portland trade. He'll quickly remind fans that he was a part of the Portland trade. Hit it with great power. This is a wonderful sign for the Dynamo because they have not had a long range threat out of midfield enough this year to pull defenses out and earn some respect and honor from those areas. Bill Moffitt living up to his first start. HOU 11.2 corner kick. $50 to charity. Thanks. Channel 11 and KHOU. Clark swings it in. Keller. Chin goes down. Keller will punt. And this is dangerous because this is Freddie Montero. He knows how to use his body. Still Montero. Ash does well to uh, fight and win it back for Houston. Team Montero pick off long balls from Casey Keller with a great touch with good battling work from the emotional Corey Ash. Rosales. 
Tackled away from him. He's frustrated. Cameron now should get it switched, and he does. Clark against Wall. Wall was hesitant. Overlapping run from Freeman. He's got space. Freeman whips in the cross chain. Can't put it on target. That's some good attacking soccer from Houston, who are flying forward now in numbers. We have not seen enough of this type of play this year from the Houston Dynamo. And this is how it's supposed to be scripted out. Good marking job there from James Riley coming in from his right back position on Ching. But Houston finding some space in wide areas here tonight. Another problem here, Corey Ash is down near the halfway line. Ash battling away here with Rosales. Not sure where the injury occurred. Certainly occurred when he went to ground there. Now on the Dynamo bench, Kofi Sarkodi is a possibility as you look at a intense Dominic Kinnear. Ash is hobbling off now, so Houston has already burned one substitution due to injury. That man helped earn the penalty for Seattle, Osvaldo Alonso. Will Brun, uh, we are now being told, is a left knee injury. Rains it pours. And right now, Dynamo training there and ends uh, taking a look at Corey Ash. So Cody warming up, as well as Jermaine Taylor. Alonzo. And an unforced error there. So Ash is back on now. Dynamo back to a full complement of 11. Let's keep an eye on him. Ching. He's come into midfield. Moffitt. Final minutes of the first half here at Robertson Stadium. Another awkward clear. Straight up in the air. Moffitt got ahead on it. Here's Ash now. Does not seem to be comfortable right now, Corey Ash. Boswell, feet of Weaver. Clark couldn't control it. Houston and Seattle have played 13 hours of soccer over their existence in competition. None of the teams have ever won an away game. King broken up by Park. Clark almost picked him out. King is in the box. Offside flag is up. He didn't get himself back on side. And you can see it's a pr pretty clear offside. It's been a real hunger in Brian Ching's game here tonight, leading by example. You will be dangerous if you get delivery from wide areas to Brian Ching. I don't think there's any question. The type of ball he got from Jeff Cameron for the goal as you look at Mauro Rosales. Driven in, there was pace in the delivery. That is what makes Brian Chin grow a few inches. Ano now. Boswell, two minutes of stoppage time added here in the first half. Houston looking for an uplifting win. They need it. Ash, Chin, trying to back heel. Here's Riley now. Osvaldo Alonso.
request. Times like that when the Dynamo win the ball and an opponent has a high line and it would be great to have a striker to look for the ball in behind defenses. That's some real pace. And they are looking for that player. Ash. Critical of Houston's game in the first half. Would be uh, more extended possession, maybe a little bit better patience at times against what is clearly a pretty fatigued team in Seattle. And they are clearly not hitting all cylinders right now. And a lot of that comes down to the Dynamo play tonight. Things have cooled off significantly here as we get into the evening. Good tracking back on Brad Davis, but a bad giveaway now. Lebeck is pulled out. Rosales is making a run. Still wants the ball. Rosales is offside. He is a bundle of frustration. Moro Rosales, the Argentine. He is quick. He's a man in motion. Excellent pass through the ball. Played 63 times for Ajax in Holland. And has been capped 10 times by Argentina. Well, you got to wonder uh, what he has to think of his former team, River Plate, being relegated to the second division of Argentine football. It's almost unheard of. Davis. King was in there, he overhit it. But you saw how quickly he was looking to find Brian Ching. Absolutely no hesitation. Well, you heard that crunching tackle. Levesque is down. Andre Haino. Feathers the ball out wide here to Davis. And that'll do it. First half comes to an end. Seventh minute Colin Clark, 23rd minute Brian Ching. Clark started it off.